As I engaged with the works of Susan Point's exhibition, Spindle Whorl, at the Vancouver Art Gallery in May 2017, I felt an inexplicable sense of joy and inner understanding. I was connected to the art through their different materials, shapes, and colors, and my spirit was touched by the experience. This is a personal interpretation of the beauty of the art and a story of the artist. It is a story of heartbreak, resilience, strength, creativity, and the rebirth of Coast Salish art. It is a story of a woman who has created masterpieces of beauty we can now experience here in the ancestral lands of the Coast Salish people. And these can be found in galleries, churches, parks, and public spaces. It is an assertion of the cultural presence that was almost destroyed, but is now thriving due to the artist's genius and persistence. Susan Point describes her work, Butterfly Grid, in these words. On the wings of the butterflies are designs in my contemporary style, depicting salmon, eagles, and ravens. These are based on traditional Coast Salish imagery that was created in various forms by my ancestral artisans and was taken from me when I was very young. The edges of this piece are fragments of butterfly wings, which have here been metaphorically clipped from First Nations children who were taken from their families and put into residential schools as myself and my siblings were. This piece is a symbol of power for those of us who had strength and resilience and survived the residential school system. Susan Point describes the five years she spent at residential school as a heartbreaking time. She later began a career as a legal secretary and at age 28 took a step that would change her life. In 1981 they were offering a native um, jewelry course at the Vancouver Community College and at that time I was on maternity leave with my third child um, so I decided to take the course. And at that time, to be honest, I didn't even realize that we had our own unique Coast Salish art form. So I went to the library and um, tried to find everything I could on Coast Salish art. At that time, there was very, very little. There was everything on Northern style art, Haida art, but nothing on Coast Salish art. No one even knew of the Coast Salish art style. And I was determined at that time to revive and make the public aware of this unique style of art. It's so nice having both my boys, actually my other son isn't here, but I, my two sons and my daughter, we all work together. This is my son Brent, and he's a welder by trade, but for the last year he's been working with me, and we've been uh, working together. This is my daughter Kelly, and she's probably the one that's going to carry on what I'm actually doing right now. She's been working with me since she was very little. She said I'd come downstairs and she'd, I'd find little scratches and cuts all over my woodworking. She'd be down there nicking up my stuff, luckily not wrecking it, so I can always fix it. The revival of the Coast Salish art form, it is going great. I mean, there's a lot of young up-and-coming artists right now that are actually doing Coast Salish art, you know, strictly Coast Salish art, using only the elements that are within the art form itself. Susan Point, by virtue of the authority vested in me and in the Senate of this university, I hereby admit you to the degree of Doctor of Fine Arts, honoris causa. I love to do public art based on the fact that it's appreciated by everyone. All cultures, children, teens, adults, they get to see the art. They can communicate with the art. Also, it represents the people of the past, present, and future of this particular land. 
I have four children. They all participated in the overall project of you know, bringing this whole piece to fruition. I guess with Sailor Shard, it has a universal appeal. It's very easy to read and to understand. You'll see the title, The Human Spirit. The Human Spirit tells the story of the Salish linking them to their traditional lands and welcoming those who have chosen to visit and live in British Columbia. It also represents people coming together, connecting and creating new ideas and visions, something that is integral to the makeup of Vancouver as it is today. This is the um, model I presented when I made my presentation for the Vancouver Convention Center Expansion Project. The three large components in the center of the artwork uh, pays tribute to the three bands in the surrounding area, which is the Burrard, the Squamish, and the Busquin people. The space is dynamic. I love that space. You look out beyond those windows and you can see the mountains on the North Shore. People are going to wonder, you know, what is this? You know, it's going to be very interesting. You know, people are going to want to stop and maybe take a look at it and, and find their own story within the whole piece itself. Because from one end to the next, it's different. There's no beginning, there's no end. It can go on forever. I like it. Coast Salish art now thrives, and Susan Point has been recognized as having brought this art back to the world. As Jim Q, Musqueam cultural advisor, has said, Susan has breathed new life into our future. Her art is a voice for traditions we have saved and that she has decided to share. <laughs>